In modern times, tank armor no longer comprises simple steel, but composite armor, supplemented by cage or bar armor, and even active defense systems like Stora or Trophy. For those with a less conventional mindset however, and the taste for some dramatic flair, there's ERA, or explosive reactive armor. Reactive armor is a type of vehicle armor that reacts in some way to the impact of a weapon, to reduce the damage done to the vehicle being protected. It is most effective in protecting against shape charges and specially hardened kinetic energy penetrators. Essentially all anti-tank munitions work by piercing the armor, and then either killing the crew inside, or disabling vital mechanical systems, or both. Reactive armor can be defeated with multiple hits in the same place. The idea of counter explosion armor was first proposed by the Scientific Research Institute of Steel in 1949 in the USSR, by academician Bogdan Jacheslavovich Wojcikowski, 1922-1999. The first pre-production models were produced during the 1960s. However, insufficient theoretical analysis during one of the tests resulted in all of the prototype elements being blown up. For a number of reasons, including the accident, as well as a belief that Soviet tanks had sufficient armor, the research was ended. No more research was conducted until 1974, when the Ministry of the Defensive Industry announced a contest to find the best tank protection project. The West German researcher, Manft Held, carried out similar work with the IDF in 1967-69. Reactive armor created on the basis of the joint research, was first installed on Israeli tanks during the 1982 Lebanon war, and was judged very effective. How does it work? An element of explosive reactive armor is made out of a sheet or slab of high explosive sandwich between two plates, typically metal, called the reactive or dynamic elements. On attack by a penetrating weapon, the explosive detonates, forcibly driving the metal plates apart to damage the penetrator. Against a shaped charge, the projected plates disrupt the metallic jet penetrator, effectively providing a greater path length of material to be penetrated. Against a kinetic energy penetrator, the projected plates serve to deflect and break up the rod. The disruption is attributed to two mechanisms. First, the moving plates change the effective velocity and angle of impact of the shape charge jet, reducing the angle of incidence, and increasing the effective jet velocity versus the plate element. Second, since the plates are angled compared to the usual impact direction of shape charge warheads, as the plates move outwards the impact point on the plate moves over time, requiring the jet to cut through fresh plates of material. This second effect significantly increases the effective plate thickness during the impact.